What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to start a successful YouTube channel and start making money. Let me take you back to when I first started this YouTube channel. I grew up with YouTube since its inception in 2005 and I always wanted to start my own channel. I knew that in 2018 as I was growing my business, starting a YouTube channel was the next logical step. But like most people who start a YouTube channel, there was a period of time where I was paralyzed by fear and it prevented me from starting. I thought I didn't have the right camera equipment or I didn't know enough about content creation. I made up so many excuses not to post my first video. So I'm going to give you the best advice I can to help you prepare and make the leap to starting your YouTube channel. First, just post your very first video. Forget all the excuses that you have. Forget about quality or researching. Most people, myself included, suffer from research paralysis. You will spend days, weeks, months theoretically researching about how to post a video when you're really just procrastinating. Once you post your first video, it gets you over that initial fear of starting. You will learn more by doing rather than reading or listening about how to do it properly. It makes it that much easier to post your second video, and then your third, and then your fourth, and so on and so forth. If you look at any YouTuber's first video, they suck. My first video was awful. I didn't know how to do voiceovers yet, and I wasn't confident enough to appear on camera. No one starts off being great at making videos. Some struggle with being charismatic on camera, I struggle with speaking. Some need to learn how to edit or make good thumbnails. That all comes with time and experience. When starting a YouTube channel, you will fail a lot. That is the reality of learning any new thing. You have to fall a few times before you learn how to walk and then to run. Get your first failure out of the way so you can fail wiser next time. And you'll be that much closer to your first success more than you realize. Before I move on to my next tip, like the video, it really does help the algorithm. Second, contrary to popular opinion, you need to not niche down, kind of. Each person is their own unique individual with their own unique talents. For me, I am an artist, so I wanted to make videos about art and my business surrounding art. But I'm also interested in personal finance, film, lifestyle. When you're first starting a YouTube channel, you have no idea what people want to see from you. Your biggest advantage when no eyes are on you yet is you can throw anything at the wall and see what sticks. Experiment. Try lots of different kinds of content that you're interested in. You also don't know what kind of videos you enjoy making the most. You may think you like making beauty videos, but you might end up liking fitness videos instead. Once you do find a topic that works for you, then do you niche down to grow your subscribers and views. For me, I chose three main topics that I wanted to focus on. Art, business, and productivity. This is a great way to start if you're worried about being too much of a variety channel. This tip will help you down the line once you get monetized. One of the challenges you will face when you first start your YouTube channel is how to monetize it. Different niches on YouTube have different CPM, which means they all make different amounts of money. You don't want to pigeon yourself into a niche that doesn't make you money. Third, now that you've posted your first few YouTube videos, you need to learn how to optimize your channel. Meaning, you need to learn what makes people click on a video. Learn how to make custom thumbnails that people actually want to click. Don't hide your face. If you know anything about creating an engaging image, people like engaging with other people. So if you put your face and you connect with people through your eyes, that's the number one thing you should put in your thumbnail. Do not use the thumbnail that YouTube gives you when you upload a video. This doesn't mean you need pricey programs like Photoshop. I know a lot of creators who use apps like Procreate to create their thumbnails. Also, learn to think like someone who actually uses YouTube. When you go to YouTube to search for a video, how do you type things in into the search bar? Most people type how to or best 
blank. That is how you learn to title your videos. If you title your videos in a way that isn't intuitive to how people actually search for content, you will never appear in search and no one will ever be able to find your content. Fourth, you need to figure out how to give people value. What are you good at and how can you teach that or entertain other people? When you're first starting out on YouTube, no one cares about you and your life. If you post vlogs or lifestyle videos, no one but your friends and family will want to watch your content. Think about the content that you actually consider watching from creators that are new to you. When you have no idea who they are, you're most likely clicking on their content because they will teach you or show you something cool. You don't actually start watching vlogs or lifestyle content from creators until they gain your trust and turn you into a loyal subscriber. You earn the ability to create content like that once you've actually built an audience for yourself. Don't start a YouTube channel thinking that you can do whatever the hottest influencer does just because it works for them. My next tip is you need to be consistent. Once you've learned how to make a good YouTube video, you need to keep doing it. When my first viral video hit, I already had a lot of content on my channel for people to binge, as well as new content for all the subscribers that were waiting for something new. You lose trust quickly if you are inconsistent with posting videos. This is what happened to me when I took long hiatuses because I was too busy with my job and my business to make new YouTube videos. Why would you watch a creator on YouTube if they only post every few months, if that? Don't underestimate this tip because it is the number one thing creators on this platform say in order to help you grow fast. More important than high quality content, more important than fancy camera equipment. The key to growing is posting regularly. This doesn't mean you have to post daily. Just make a schedule for yourself and stick to it. My recommendation is to at least post once a week. If you want to grow even faster, post two to three times a week. Not only that, but the faster you get out your first hundred bad videos, the better you will be as a content creator. If you are taking the right steps, you're learning from every single video that you post, and you're trying your hardest to engage with your audience, it should take you an average of three months to get monetized. Depending how fast you learn the language of YouTube, it can take a year. It takes some people many years. I got lucky and had a viral video super early on. But if you've noticed other people who have gotten viral videos, it doesn't help the channel as much as you would think. You get a good head start. You might get monetized early, but the views and the engagement usually peters out to about a little bit more than what the channel originally got. Again, consistency is key to continue to grow after you go viral. Finally, learn how to make entertaining content. Watch time is extremely important on YouTube, and you should be steadily increasing your watch time from maybe 30 seconds, a minute, to four minutes, and so on and so forth. This doesn't mean you have to act a certain way or be super extroverted. I'm talking about the language of film. This also doesn't mean you need expensive camera equipment. You simply need to learn the psychology of how to be engaging. For example, there's a rule in filmmaking that you should cut to a new shot every one to two seconds. This rule can be broken depending on the situation, but it's a good baseline to follow for new creators. Shot variety is extremely important to keeping your audience engaged. So maybe think of creative ways to add something like b-roll or changing where you sit in the shot. Another rule is having something like a joke or comedic moment every few seconds. If someone makes you laugh, you want to engage with them more, and it'll be one step closer to convincing them to subscribe. It takes experience and time to develop these skills, so don't be discouraged. I, for one, am still working on my speaking skills. For people like me, I recommend doing the free vocal warm-ups available on YouTube. At first, I was really camera shy. Once I would press record, I would freeze up and forget what I wanted to say. When I first started doing the vocal warm-ups, it felt silly and I had no idea if it would even work. After doing it every single day, it's really changed the way I speak to camera. I can project more and get over my camera shyness faster. My next step would be to hire a speaking coach to really upgrade my skills. 
For some, that might be better than struggling to teach yourself. But for those who are just starting and trying to save a little bit of money, free YouTube videos is the way to go. Give it a try. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about how I saved enough money in order to quit my corporate animation job, in order to have the time to focus on and scale my business. Jingle my bells if you want to get notified for when that video comes out. If you want more videos like this, consider supporting me by buying my merch. Like this video if you like the video. I'm Janet, and don't forget to dare to dream.